Okay, question three. Let's check out. So the lifetime X in tens of hours of a battery is modeled by the property density function. Okay, so here's the PDF. Now, use algebraic integration to find the expected value. Okay, this is um, very straightforward, yeah? If we know the definition of expected value, I can write over here. EX, at least in terms of integration, is always the integral from the limits, let's say A to B, of X times FX. Simple as that. That's all it is. It's always this case. So, in other words, we just have to multiply X to the density function. So, this is going to be equal to the integral. So, we, so let's just let's just fix, simplify this here. If you want to integrate this, you can take the so it'll be 1 over 9 for a second. So, it'll be the integral from the limits 1 to 4 of all of this times X. So, if you multiply this out, so it'll be 4X minus X squared. And then if you times x in front of it, you're going to get exactly 4x squared minus x cubed dx. All right, so this is the main thing. Now, this is quite straightforward. It's very linear. So ignoring the 1 over 9, integrating this, you should get 4x cubed over 3 minus x to the power 4 over 4. From And then you just evaluate from 1 to 4. Yeah, and uh, that's really it. And then when you do that, so you've got 1 over 9. Firstly, you just plug in 4. So when you plug in 4, what do you get? Minus, and then when you plug in 1, you should get... Uh, hold on. Uh, 12, I mean. So the final result should be 64 over 3 minus answer times 1 over 9. 9 over 4. So you should get 9 over 4 as your result. Yeah, pretty straightforward actually. That's what you do. Okay, guys, here we go. Parts B and C. So as usual, we're given the, the random variable x in tens of hours of the following property density function. Okay, so it's all copied out here. Now let's evaluate B. So find the property that the random variable x is greater than 2.5. So the only way to do this, firstly, is to use algebraic integration. Why? Because we're working with continuous values. So this is a range. So we need to find the time when x is bigger than 2.5. Well, the only way it goes up to is that we start from 2.5 and it goes all the way up to the limit, 4. So that's, what, that's exactly what we're integrating. So we can say that the solution B is simply going to be the integral of the density function from 2.5 to the highest limit, which is 4, and dx. That's it. So we just pick this value 1 over 9 times x, 4 minus x, and just plug in and solve and just integrate. Very easy. So it's going to be, firstly, because you got one, I'll, I'll show you a nice trick. If you got 1 over 9, just whip outside like you did for part A. Pop it outside and you're going to have 2.5 to 4. Simplify this, this uh, part. So x times 4 minus x would be 4x minus x squared dx. And this part is fine now. So let's do it. So this is going to give us now, so integrating all of this we should get, so 4x becomes 4x squared over 2, 4, 4 over 2 cancels out, so you get 2x squared minus x cubed over 3. And, and you're going to evaluate from 2.5 to 4. So yeah, that's all we do. So firstly, plug in 4, find the value, then plug in 2.5, find another value, and you should get 3 over 8. And voila, that's it guys. Hope this helps. And let's move on to the next one. So here we have a radio that runs using two of these batteries. Okay, so let's just keep that in mind. So if they're using two batteries, it looks like we need to use two different properties, maybe. So both of which must be working. Two fully charged batteries are put into the radio. So part C, find the property that the radio will be working after 25 hours use. So one thing to know here, yeah? when they say 25 hours use, recall that the, the, the run variable X is measured in tens of hours. So this probability for part B, x grade 2.5, that's measured in 10, so it'll be actually, in, re in reality, this is 25 hours. So in fact, this statement here is the same as x greater than 2.5. And now, because we're using two batteries, this means that the solution for part C means we need two of them. So probability x greater than 2.5 times probability x greater than 2.5. So we need both, both of these happening. And well, we know the solution for both. This is 3 over 8, and of course, this is 3 over 8. 
So multiplying them out, you should get 9 over 64. Very easy problem. Very easy. And here we go, the final part, part D. Let's see. So given that the radio is working after 16 hours, so find the property that the radio will be working after being used for another 9 hours. So first thing to notice is that we're using a given that question. So every time you have a given that question, we know that the property is going to be on the bottom half of the fraction. And this is after 16 hours. So this is immediately x greater than this variable. Wanting to know, we're working, as we're working in tens of hours, and as you recall from part C, when it said find the property that really we're working after 25 hours, this literally meant x greater than 2.5 because of the tens of hours system. So literally this means x greater than 1.6. So let's put over here, solution for D. We know firstly that the bottom variable, the given that part, would be x greater than 1.6. So it looks like we need to solve that. Now, for this plus statement, find the property that the radio will be working after being used for another 9 hours. Notice how to use the word another 9 hours. So this literally means after the original 16 plus 9 hours, which is actually 25. Which is actually the, what we did for B and C. However, be very careful here, yeah? We're talking specifically about the radio. Meaning the radio requires two batteries, meaning we only care about this property, not this one. This is the battery. Okay, so this is actually a common mistake here, a very common mistake, so be very careful. We care, we want the radio, which is 9064. So instantly, this is actually officially written as X greater than 2.5. Now, one thing before I forget to note as well is because we're using a radio for both of them, remember they're both radios, we're going to have to square both of them because we need two of them, yeah? That's exactly what we did earlier. I know we multiply both twice, but it's the same by just squaring. And okay, so we know what we have. So the solution to part C, which we already had, was 9 over 64. So this squared was 9 over 64. That's okay. Now let's try and work out this property, x greater than 1.6. Okay, so this is quite fine. Now this is just standard procedure here. Yeah? You just take the density function. Um, integrate from the limit, so from 1.6 onwards all the way to 4, and you just smash it in. So let's do it. So 1 over 9 outside, integrate from 1.6 to 4, you should get 4x minus x squared and then dx. Easy. Now, just to just to get into the standard format before I just give you the pop down the answers, 4x is 4x squared over 2 or 2x squared, and then this is x cubed over 3. And yeah, 1.6 and 4. Okay, so as per usual, plug in 4 over here and then find the result and then plug in 1.6 over here and then evaluate all, find the difference and multiply by 1 over 9, you should get 96 over 125. Now this is this probability. To get the squared version, well, let's, let's square this result in our calculator. Yeah? So 96 over 125 um, squared. Oh god, that's one ugly probability. Well, I'm not going to keep it. I'm just going to write <laughs> as it is. So it'll be 96 over 125 squared. And then plugging everything in. Um, 9 divided by 64 over the answer. Ooh, you should get about, let's say four decimal places. 0 0.2384. And that's it. Case closed. This is part D for you guys. And I hope this helped. This is kind of um, a very risky question because they're talking about specifically radios, yeah? So always, you know, be careful what you're trying to find here. Yeah? They both need two batteries, hence why they're squared.